Welcome back, the Bucky Dots. It's me, Jack, live at the Bucky House, coming to you from the edge of the catwalk for the Monkey House No Clothes Fashion Show. That's right. Although, no, 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 sorry. You might have gotten the wrong impression. Yes, it is called the No Clothes Fashion Show. But you still do have to wear clothes. We should really give this a different day. The, the idea is you can create your own outfit out of things that are decidedly not clothing type material. Like uh, previously, uh, our friend Kai created an entire outfit out of cotton candy. Sticky, but very fashionable. See, if you use a non-clothing material, you can really get some looks. And, uh, well... Potentially, you might stick to the catwalk if you're moving quickly enough. And now, let's meet our fashion expert, who I see joining us on the catwalk right now. And let's see if we can get them to strut their fashionable stuff. Give it up, you monkey dots, for Trey. It's Drake in Florida. Hey, Drake, how are you? Good. Great. Welcome to the Bucky House, and thank you so much for sharing your creativity with all of us. Um, Drake, I'm curious, uh, when you get ready uh, for school, do you set out your outfit in advance, or do you just kind of grab whatever's ready? I uh, just kind of grab what, whatever's ready. All right, so you just find some clean clothes, get some pants, get a shirt, out the door. You're not putting a lot of effort into it every day, is what you're saying. Not really. Yeah, me either. I, from my perspective, I would much rather get the extra four minutes of sleep than put those four minutes into, like, procuring the perfect outfit. So, <laughs> you and I are on the same team, Drake. Uh, but I can tell that you put a lot of effort into this outfit, and dare I say, it is high fashion. So tell us, Drake, what is your outfit? Pizza with... Pizza... Pepperoni pizza with a Parmesan hat. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Wait, let's talk about the Parmesan hat really fast, because I'm wondering how you made this happen. When I go to get pizza, ordinarily, the Parmesan cheese is like in a little shaker, and you just kind of shake it on top of the pizza, and it's like in powder form. How do you turn powdered Parmesan into a hat, Drake? We took the stringy Parmesan cheese and melted oh. them together and made a hat. Oh, really smart. I like that. Okay, so you find some sort of, like, hat-like form, cover it with stringy Parmesan cheese, melt that all together, let it dry, and then you've got a hat made out of cheese. Oh, man. My mouth is watering, and I think that would look great on my head. Uh, could you make me a Parmesan hat after this is all over, Drake? I would love one. Yeah, I can. Gr oh, thank you so much. Okay, so now let's go on to the outfit. Uh, what does the outfit look like? Um, it looks like... A t-shirt or like a sweater kind of a t-shirt with pepperoni as buttons oh yeah. <laughs> nice. so you're kind of like a like the can't catch me of the, the gingerbread man cookie but instead of uh, you know gingerbread buttons you got pepperoni buttons down the front there I like that uh, is it long sleeve or short sleeve long sleeve now I'm wondering you live in Florida, where it, it famously gets very hot, especially during the summertime. When it gets really hot, does oil start dripping down your arms, Drake? Uh, yeah. So what do you do about that oil? Is that a feature? Is that a good thing? Or is that a nuisance that you have to get rid of? Uh, probably a nuisance I gotta get rid of. <laughs> yeah, so what do you do with all that oil that's dripping down your arms when you're, you know, prancing around Florida, like Miami, like a 90-degree day, and all that pizza oil's coming off? What do you do with all that? Uh, use a beach towel or lick it off. <laughs> oh, okay, two great solutions. So if you're thirsty, you can just drink all that pizza oil. But if, you know, you've had enough to drink and, you know, maybe you're really over pizza oil, which I can imagine you would be if your outfit was just weeping that all the time. You did, that's why you bring a beach towel with you, just to absorb it all. Okay, I like it. Um, and what about the, uh, the lower half, like from waist down? Is that a pair of pants that's also made out of pizza? It's a pair of pants with veggies, made out of veggies. Uh, veggie pizza or just veggies? Veggie pizza. Veggie pizza. Okay, great. So, oh, I like that. So we got something for the carnivores on top, and we got something for the herbivores on the bottom. <laughs> Some vegetarians, don't worry. You're part of this outfit, too. Okay, good. And then I guess all together, that makes this a supreme outfit, right, Drake? Mm-hmm. That's great. And, I mean, I don't own any 
uh, Supreme Clothing. Uh, apparently, that's like a really high-quality fashion brand. I see those stickers all over the place. They say Supreme on them. Now you can finally say that you are wearing Supreme, right, Drake? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Oh, very fun. Okay, one last question. Uh, if at the end of the catwalk you get hungry, will you permit yourself to take a few bites of sleeve, or do you have a strict no-eating policy? Probably take a few bites. All right. Okay. Hey, if you get hungry, take a bite, man. That's what it's all about when you're eating pizza. Audience, let's get ready to cheer Drake on down the catwalk. And Drake, when that music starts bumping, you know what to do. You got to strut. Just be careful because sometimes the cheese gets stuck on stuff and it gets really stringy like in the Pizza Hut commercials. I don't want you to trip. Drake, are you ready? Yeah. Then, audience, let's let her rip. Give it up for Drake, who's walking the catwalk. And look, he's got a little trail of pizza juice just right behind him. Look at all that grease. So oh, very nice. You'll know where Drake is. Just follow the grease, everyone, and unless he wipes it up with a beach towel. One more time, audience, give it up for Drake in Florida. Now that's how you wear a pizza.